Oh, right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another StarCraft 2 match. This one is going to be special because we are about to review a match which has been recommended to me as being some awesome kind of crazy genius stuff. They said, oh, man, this is some 300 IQ stuff. But then I said, wait, 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 excuse me. Who are the players we've been recommended? And they said, it's Nathanius. That's right. Terran commentator, notorious Terran salt lord himself, Master of the battle cruiser, Nathanius, playing up against Clan Risen's Duck. So this is like a mid-time Masters game. This is not a GM game, but apparently there was some 300 IQ plays and situations that came out. So I'm going to be reviewing this game. We are just going to be going, what the hell goes on? Is it, is, oh, by the way, for those for context, I literally am casting this right after casting some like top five players in the world games. So we're, we're going from actual legit 200 IQ players who are geniuses and we're going to figure out, are these Masters League players 300 IQ or are we just going right down to zero IQ? Because sometimes if you go far enough down in IQ, it actually tips over and goes back to the top. Some of you may disagree with that. You might say that's not how it works, Big. I'll say you're wrong. You just don't have enough IQ to comprehend it. You probably can't even appreciate Rick and Morty. You probably think it's a stupid show and that's okay. There is no accounting for a lack of taste, understanding or brain cells in this world, guys. Everybody knows Everybody knows that you have to have a certain amount of IQ to play Battle Cruisers every game, and that is why Nathanius is the biggest of Rick and Morty fans. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, Nathanius was one of the biggest commentators since 2013. He worked his way up from uh, basically being like borderline homeless, um, sleeping on a guy's couch, and just passionately grinding every day, casting every online tournament he could, and um, and, and managed to become one of the biggest casters in the scene. We haven't seen him doing being as active in StarCraft recently, but uh, he still ops on the ladder, and over the last few years, he made a journey I guess the last five years, from being a super try-hard, like, Terran player who just really tried all the standard builds to someone who basically does meme -y stuff. He just plays, like, weird mech, battle cruiser, massing every game, and he's a master of it. He's actually really good at it. So, uh, if you think of him, it's, imagine, like, kind of like Ruff, but if Ruff just went battle cruisers every game. Inevitably, there's always going to be battle cruisers. Now, Duck probably knows this, is going for an adept into a Twilight Council, Blink opening is pretty damn solid versus that. But uh, what I find so fascinating is like, Nate is very experienced at it. I have lost games to his BCs before. It's been quite a while since we played, but uh, I remember just being like, man, like you can tell he is so experienced with them and has used so many hundreds of games. So he knows all the nifty little tricks and whatnot. Reaper will come back. Ooh, uh, not the best multitasking on that Reaper. And that means this SCV is exposed, but Duck not taking advantage of it. Oh, and that means the Cyclone's going to have time to get out. So Duck here being a little bit too cautious. You see that Cyclone? Time to get out of there, Duck. Run! Run, Adept! Cyclone's hungry, though. Hungry, hungry Cyclone. Get back here, you little bitch. Whoa! That's a creepy Cyclone. I don't know why. Just I, I feel like bitch. It's harsh. Like, dude, it's a, have some honor for your opponents. He's like, no, he's killed too... They've killed too many SCVs building command centers before. And let's be real, guys. There is a little bit of a salty attitude, I feel, to all of Nate's units. Nate's a good mate of mine. But when he plays StarCraft, I am telling you, I think if we could hook him up to some vitals, we would probably see plus 20 to the blood pressure. I don't know how you read blood pressure, but he would have high blood pressure. I would I would feel like, especially playing against Protoss players, Nathanius is like the internet's combined all of its forces. All of the Terrans on Reddit have combined into one player. And uh, yeah, he definitely is a bit of a salt lord sometimes. And that's why I love him. Because he, he basically embodies what I started to embody when I was playing only Terran for a few months. Where every game I just got saltier and saltier. And there's a lot of theories about it. Uh, but you know what? I do think when he started playing Battle Cruisers, he became a bit more chill. That being said, he is playing a Raven into an engineering bay. But that's a fusion core, isn't it? Yeah, like there's an SCV. He's almost at 150 gas. And look how turtle he is. He's just got two Cyclones. No tank on the high ground, though. So he could get overrun. Meanwhile, so what's Duck doing? Duck's playing pretty standard. Nice quick third base, couple of stalkers, has a shield battery to help defend the cyclones. Blink's done at 4 minutes 40, really crisp blink timing. This is a solid opening, dude. This is a very solid opening. Um, for those who are wondering, there is a bit of downtime, so I wanted to have a bit of a question with you guys in the comment section. When you go to McDonald's and get your nugs, what sauce do you get with them? Assuming you can't get the Mulan Sichuan sauce, uh, obviously, since uh, that, that, I don't think we're ever seeing that one again. Uh, McDonald's, I don't think stampeding into their uh, their their places is, is is exciting. In Australia, everybody goes sweet and sour sauce. If you don't go sweet and sour in Australia, then then you're considered a savage. That's just that is just the most common. All the Aussies go for it. 
Um, some people are saying the ScoMo special sauce. Oh, that's a that's a poo reference. Um, yeah, that's uh, that. we got some Aussies in the chat today. You guys let us know in the comments. <clears throat> Honey, mustard, sweet and sour, sweet and sour, sweet and sour. Big Mac mayo. Wait, you can get Big Mac mayo? Oh, I guess you can just ask for Big Mac sauce, can't you? They'll put it in a little container. I've never done that. That's an interesting idea there. Cyclones and Ravens are coming out on the map. Ketchup. I don't, do we even have ketchup in Australia at Macca's? I'm pretty sure they just give you tomato sauce, right? What do they call it, ketchup? I don't know. Cyclone's going to go for a bit of a run by it. Is he going to go for the Nexus? No. Okay, goes for just the Stalker and the Zealot. Uh, battery overcharge is pretty good there. Run, 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 Nate. What are you doing here? Oh my god, this is the dumbest move ever. Guys, guys, uh, it's time to start rating the moves. This one is zero IQ. I don't know what he was hoping for here. He kills a Zealot, a Stalker, maybe a Shield Battery as well. He gets one more probe. That was a terrible move. I don't know what he was hoping for. He had no vision all game, and he's like, let's just run across with two with a raven and three cyclones and hope we kill some stuff. What a disaster. He's got a tank, a battle cruiser, only now starting at Oh, okay, no, wait, wait, no, he's got one. He teleports in. Okay, he does have a battle cruiser. I was like, if he doesn't have a battle cruiser yet, he's screwed. The army's coming across. Duck is saying, screw defending! YOLO! But the battle cruiser is gonna ruin his economy. For some reason, Nathaniel's making high sec auto tracking right now. I don't even know why. He wants to get extra range on his planetary fortress at his third base. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I love it. The battle cruiser is gonna dive in the natural right now. So far, we are looking like this is the baboon end of the spectrum. But are we gonna see those 300 IQ plays that people told me about? I don't know. This just looks like baboonery. The stalkers are getting gunned down by the tank, but they're gonna blink in. Oh, mass repair is not good enough. Oh no, Master Power is not good enough here, guys. Oh, the SCVs are getting overwhelmed. Nate will have another BC pop out, but he's getting savagely murdered. But he's going to depower three of the gateways. There are only four gateways up. No, there's seven gateways. And the tank goes down. Oh, I think Duck's got this, guys. I think Duck's got this. The BC might be able to defend, but he's already going to lose so many SCVs. I guess he's got a planetary mining the whole time. The, the saving grace. But this BC, oh no. Oh no, he loses that BC. Oh, that's huge. The BC up here is defending, though. The Stalkers are blinking around, going after the SCVs rather than the battle cruiser. Lots of Drilly Boys, a harem of Drilly Boys come up and they all start to touch the junk of that BC simultaneously, all repairing it from underneath, just stroking the shaft in the middle of the battle cruiser. And it does get back to full hit points. Four, five Stalkers will not be able to do this. They're going to try and pick off maybe a few more SCVs before they go down. The Planetary actually killed some units that went up there during this as well. The high sec auto tracking might have actually helped. I think there was a Stalker like there. This game is a total shit show. The Adepts and the Zealots killed the Depots. They're going to try and get on in there. And I think the Protoss comes out way on top in this. Is, is up on uh, 43 probes. The only... It's going to get even more SCVs. Oh! Okay, Zealot goes down, but even... One more SCV. Oh, that he cannot afford. Does the BC teleport for the counterattack? That'd be dangerous. Oh, the Stalkers are coming in one more time. He keeps trying to work the angle, and he's like, how come the planetary can reach? Yes, he made high sec auto tracking. That is a seven range planetary. He scans to kill the two observers. Ah, Nate has floated his natural over to the top left, and of course, Duck doesn't know about this. Now, Duck should be chronoing probes, has a billion energy. But guys, if there's one thing I know, it's that players panic when they're playing against battle cruisers. No chrono boosts. Right? No chrono boost being used. Every energy is on max. Only now repowering these gateways. Duck is like, oh god, this game's so weird, man. And could just take a fourth and a fifth base here. But I've watched enough rough games to know that most Protoss players on the ladder, when they come into things they're not used to, their brains break because they can't handle it. They don't have enough IQ to appreciate the insane strategy here. Notice how he keeps changing his rally points. He just changed all of his rally points there to there, there to there, there to here. He then changed all the rally points back to the third, and then he went back and reset them. So Duck is super panicky. Even though he's winning the game, he's like, God, what do I do against a guy who's got planetaries and battle cruisers, right? So Duck's in an unfamiliar situation. He's trying to figure out what to do. And uh, is in an okay spot. You've got seven gates. You've got three bases, 60 workers. I mean, this, this stood, should still be a very good position. But... What's Nate? I mean, Nate's got nothing. He's got two battle cruisers and two widow mines. Duck can just kill him. As long as Duck doesn't attack the planetary, goes into the main, he should be able to just kill this. There's no tanks or anything like that. There's nothing to anchor this position. Mass repair is good. I don't know if it's that good, though. Oh, but the widow mines. Oh, gets a pretty good hit. Two more widow mines. Maybe can help him out. The BCs. Oh, 
Oh, they're using the terrain. The Stalkers can't hit the BCs when they're up there. A Widow Mine and a couple of Yamatos are clearing out the Stalkers. As long as he doesn't lose any BCs, this is a really good fight for Nathanius. I thought the Protoss could just kill him. Oh, he teleports it to safety. He saves one of the BCs. The other two are going to overwhelm. He only loses a handful of SCVs here. He is up to 61 SCVs, dead 62. The Immortal goes down, an impressive hold. And Duck isn't really doing anything else behind it. Recalls that. He's still just massing Stalkers. Um, and doesn't do critical damage, and he still doesn't know about this base that floated over here. So he's like, oh, you're on two base, you're basically dead. So Duck feels like he can just smother him. Now, if Duck went uh, fourth, yep, there we go, fourth base, double upgrades, he should still be able to swamp over him. Right now, Nate is just like scratching his head going, uh, long shot survival? Um, just, um, I guess I, I make a tech lab and uh, uh, tanks and on the high ground can defend things. But Duck coming across the map, and if Duck finds this expansion, which I think Duck is realizing, hey, where'd that command center go? I never actually killed it. And finds it, the way Duck moves around this army definitely reeks of a bit of F2, but has a few Stalkers at home, so maybe not, actually. Oh, no, no, these four Stalkers are in this army. Oh, that's a big snipe, man. Oh, that's a disaster. Nate is in trouble, man. He's got to do some counter damage. He sends three BCs across the map. He leaves one at home. All he's got is a planetary and one BC at home. These three BCs are going to try and do damage. One of them up to 23 kills. The Stalkers with Battery Overcharge are a problem. But that's why he avoids them. Goes over to the right side. He's going to try and gun down the Twilight. I would have liked him to fly through the main there while the Stalkers are still trying to frantically deal with stuff, but he's going to make sure he plays safe. So remember, Nate says, look, as long as I'm on the edge... The Stalkers can't all hit me at once, so we can just pick things off and do bits of damage. And if we stack them on top, all three BCs can be shooting and moving, and only one or two Stalkers can hopefully shoot at a time. Look at that, Yamato's the Cyber Core. He's going to Yamato a Stalker. You can blink to dodge that, but you have to time it so it's when the projectile's in midair. That's when you blink, not earlier. Okay, so here we go. BCs are doing some damage. He rebuilds the command center. He's trying to make another two star ports. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the planetary. Uh oh. Oh no. Nate's a bit too slow on the repair and he never made Neo Steel armor, guys. Oh no. He's going to lose the planetary. Wait, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Talk about a reach around. Nathaniel's planetary he looks like he felt like he was never going to get there when that many drilly boys are all giving you a reach around at once it turns out even he can get there the bc teleports away just before it dies as well <laughs> i can't believe this is surviving and he's got one tank to defend his natural that scares the stalkers back <laughs> these three bcs are over here this is so dumb there is no way Nathaniel can win this game if duck just takes two bases goes double forge and keeps making stalkers but he's broken him he's broken him I can't believe it. Duck is still at double the supply, but he's making zealots. He's making zealots against a guy on mass BC. Oh, that BC! 10 hit points. He's going to teleport two of them home. But Nate, he's not watching. He's not watching. Teleport, 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 teleport. Okay, he's watching. He's got to be watching. He teleports them all home. Guys, he's only lost one BC this game. The unit's lost tab is about 4,000 resources in his favor. <laughs> I can't believe the planetary survived, dude. I also can't believe he attacked it when he could have just gone around. Oh my god. Duck is once again doing the... Pro what does a Protoss player do when they're in a chaotic situation? F2A move! The army's running across the map. He's taking a fourth there, a fifth there. Come on, Duck. You can do this, bro. You're not meant to lose from this situation. Definitely needs to transfer those workers out to the fourth. Is supply blocked a little bit. Still no upgrades on these stalkers, but neither do the BCs have upgrades. He's going to go for the planetary again. Again, but this time the zealots are limiting the surface area. Where are the BCs? And oh, it's enough. Does manage to take it down. Oh man, this tank on the high ground gets a shot off on the zealots, but back to one base with now trying to make a planetary on the natural, which to be fair is almost fresh. It's lost almost no minerals this game because he hasn't had a chance to mine from it. Now behind this duck doesn't really have any tech progression. Is up on nine gateways, but one of those gateways is deep out. So eight gateways, two BC. Ca oh, tactical counterattack. Tactical counterattack. Duck is going to try and headbutt in. Two tanks on the high ground shelling him right now, though, making it very scary. The probes pulled off the mining line, but they just sat there. Oh, no. He loses another 20 probes. Up to 50 probes dead versus 93 SCVs. Still a better economic spot for Duck, but it's getting fragile. Down to just 39 probes. These BCs finding some fantastic damage here. 
They grab a Stalker on the way out as well. Back to the dead space. Are we going to see that Blink Dodge? No, Duck not attempting any of the fancy micro tricks there. And at this point, Duck needs to hold the probe key down and just split the Stalkers up. Leave like 15 Stalkers here, 15 Stalkers over here and defend this economy. But is kind of just letting Nate go in and out. And whenever he comes forward like that, you can just blink on him and basically one shot these BCs, guys. Even this fight is not that bad for Duck. Duck has so much more money, but Duck is not probing right now. And you can tell that Duck is kind of controlling it a moving the units in a bit of a panic all around so nathanius he's like okay okay i've triggered you a little bit with this bc harass but oh no he's not watching careful careful nate careful back to the dead space okay just just teleport those home you can't lose a single bc every bc is sacred guys every single bc he needs to just turtle his ass off and survive and hope that his opponent's brain breaks duck is now reprobing but notice that they're always all rallying to the same spot and they're not getting chrono boosted or probes queued up. Whereas if these next eye were actually rallied to each other, they'd be much better. So we can see there that Nathaniel's BC harass is getting the Protoss to fray, but a battle cruiser is going to fall there, and it does. Oh, you can't be throwing BCs away even when you're getting probe kills with it. But does this open up the angle for the other BCs? It does. He F two A moved the whole army. The panic F two A move. Oh no, Duck didn't leave any stalkers, and these BCs come in. I don't think they can kill the Nexus, though. Obviously, the Stalkers can split and deal with that. The whole army responds, though. And he, he comes back again. These BCs baiting. They bait him back. That means these BCs might be able to kill the Nexus. One of them wasn't shooting that whole time. He's going to Yamato. I think he's got to teleport out, though. You can't afford to lose these. They're too vulnerable. Nate getting a bit too horny right now. He wants the Nexus. The Stalkers aren't responding. And the army is now splitting in three different directions. But then he immediately sends them back. Duck is stuck in a redundant APM cycle of just pulling his units back and forwards. Oh my god, you can see that he's just completely broken. Stop! Stop F2A moving the army! And he does it again! No! No! Oh my god, Duck! I can't believe Duck is just splitting the army up. What are you doing? Stop! Just reprobe your split your army up. The BC's like, wait, are you for real? Are we actually going to kill another Nexus <laughs> right now? And this is a line from Harper in my Twitch chat, but it's too good. I've got to read it out. We can literally see Duck's brain hit points going down rapidly right now. We can see Duck's overall awareness of the strategy and the situation in the game just taking massive hemorrhage. <laughs> We can see it's just bleeding off. I feel like his brain just got EMP'd by this battle cruiser harassment. And there's just something about the BCs hiding in the dead space and just sitting there has broken Duck's brain. The entire army is F2ing around the map looking for corner bases. He's like, how is he still building battle cruisers? It's like, well, you've killed two over over almost 20 minutes in this game. You've only killed two, dude. So ah uh, yeah it's kind of a thing man it's kind of a thing ah uh, oh my god bc's in the main base do go in the nexus is gonna start to go down for battle cruiser dive kills the nexus could depower some production once again he's got to be real careful with this but nate is actually is he up on income oh nate is far ahead on income because he's lost his fourth and his fifth bases and duck is still f2ing the whole army around even this one remaining base is is being ignored and, and the whole army on one control group it is it's it, it's f2 with extra steps f2 control one and then select the army through number one i love it it's my favorite my favorite style of control group management um bcs are going to move out the right side as well you're going to try and do some more run bys what's he got three tanks two ravens and a missile turret missile turret should be able to kill the observer indeed it does okay BC is taking out the production. Duck is going to go for a big old A move. There's a command center trying to build. Cancel, Nate. Does cancel it. Good quick cancel. He's pulling back right now. He has a BC here. A few Ravens, a tank. Dude, with auto turret spam, maybe the planetary on the natural as well. But oh, his tank sieged on the depot. He can't raise the depot. The BC goes down almost immediately. Oh, no. Oh, he's getting up there. Duck's going to get in here. Duck's going to breach the main. The tanks on the high ground were not enough. Oh, if he had this walled off a bit, that would have worked. But the, the not having it walled off, and even the planetary is going to go down. Damn! Duck is getting on in there, and he's clearing out Nate's base. This is finally, finally. Duck has had, like, double, triple army supply all game, and yet Nate has been tearing him apart. Duck doesn't really have any money, and, and doesn't really... Okay, he's only got 10 probes. Duck needs to run some probes away, but we've seen that Duck is, is a big kind of... Look at one area of the map at once. Pull the probes, pull the probes. You can build a nexus elsewhere. Oh my god! He's only got two probes! Okay, where's the last one? Bottom right, bottom right. Okay, he builds a Nexus. Duck will build a Nexus on the other side of the map. 
Oh, he's got one probe out there, but that is still very dangerous. He's got so little minerals to spare. The last Nexus does go down. This command center is floating away, but right now there's a barracks in the dead space and there's no flying units for Protoss. So Duck cannot do that unless he rebuilds. He's got pylons right now, but as they go down, he'll be supply blocked. And with one probe, it's going to take him forever to rebuild enough pylons to get on supply blocked. We can see this command center will not escape. The stalkers are going to gun that one down. Nathanius right now, realizing this is a base trade, he's going to go out there hunting. And yeah, don't worry, that will burn down, guys, 100%. Uh, Battle is going to go there. Command Center does get shot down. BCs are looking for for bases. He's like, okay, you're, you're going to have to have hidden something out here. I'll leave two BCs to clear up your base. And uh, the other four are going to go around this left side. So he's looking for bases right now. He doesn't want to run into the Stalkers, though. They can still kill that very easily. Sets a refinery on fire. Two Stalkers will run into the BCs. BCs might get some kills on those very quickly. Good pick up for Nate here. Unless Duck's watching and blinks very quickly. But nope, does go down. Army does move back here, but these two BC is going to work their way down the right side. He says, hey, if you're not here, you must be on this right side of the map. So Nate, he's queued this around. Ooh, watch out, Nate. Watch out. Oh, no. Nathanius. Oh, barely teleports. As those projectiles connect, he keeps it alive. Guys, Nate cannot repair. He has no orbitals. He has no mules. He cannot repair in this game. Two BCs down the bottom. He's got a raven. Oh, that's very cute. The raven. A single raven. He's got one energy unit. It's like, yeah, auto turrets. Gets the last probe. He's going to try and kill this Nexus. Recall is available, but he hasn't used it yet. Where is that recall? He's not using recall. This is his last Nexus. It's his last Nexus. He doesn't recall. Duck. Duck. <laughs> the battle cruisers are coming on down and they're just going to teleport out. Dude, he wasn't even blinking his stalkers. Duck is broken. I'm telling you guys, he's on his last hit points on his brain. If Dark was... If, if, sorry, if Duck... I've been casting Dark earlier. If Duck... Duck! 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 Sorry, guys. What can I say? I'm Australian. If uh, if Duck was an XCOM character right now, he would be shaken, his will shattered, and he would have picked up like 10 negative traits by this point. Oh, he gets a BC snipe, though, and that is big! He gets a BC snipe! There's only five left! That is huge! Might be getting a bit more recovery on the will going. Might be able to send him back into combat soon. The, uh, the, uh, the battle cruiser is going to try and pull off to the left side. The stalkers are going down. And it does lose a stalker for a bit of damage on the BC. These are the last buildings, guys. Okay, ooh, he gets a few shots off. Nate, you gotta be careful, mate. So what do we got here? We got one, two, three assimilators and, and one, two, three, four, five gateways. <laughs> Duck's last buildings. Now, Duck has an unkillable army, basically. 18 stalkers, seven archons. But the BCs and the Ravens, obviously they can just hide in the dead space as well. Maybe try and Yamato units. Nate's like, oi, come, come, come. And he's like, hey, silly boy. Yamato's a stalker. Another stalker go down. So he's like, hey, down to 16 stalkers. He needs to do that for the next 10 minutes to win this game. The problem is these gateways are out in the open. So, I mean, duck blinking on the edge is definitely a little dicey. You got to wait for the BC to come just a little closer before you blink. He's got the right idea. Um, this barracks will never die. So as long as that barracks never dies, and, and the raven, by the way, is going to come up as well and join forces. Nate, Nate, it's so dangerous. Get out. Nate, Nate. Oh, no, he loses another BC for no good reason. <laughs> Nate getting a bit over eager. Okay, so guys, check it out. There's no way Nate can lose this game because he's got the barracks. So the best thing Duck can do is get a draw. Basically, just stop him from killing your buildings and that'll start the draw timer. If there's no buildings dying for or, or resources being harvested or anything for, I, I don't know how long it is, like a minute, basically, then the draw timer kicks in and it's, uh, I think it's... Two minute draw time? A three minute draw time? I don't know how long it is. Raven's gonna come in, drop auto turrets. So, so Nate is right now saying, hey, I can win though, if I can kill these buildings. So he's like, look, if I can keep killing these buildings, I keep resetting the draw timer. So, and maybe I can keep Yamatoing Archons and Stalkers and wear him down as long as I don't lose any hit points and I just keep baiting him towards the edge. But he's only got four BCs and a Raven. So it's gonna be a really long, arduous journey to do that for Nate. And for Duck, obviously from here, you just want to take the draw. So he's gone to zero APM. So Duck has realized, okay, we just want to take the draw now. He's got the Stalkers, the Zealot of the Immortal, making sure that this barracks can't land. And remember, as Duck, this is revealed. Because Nate doesn't have a command center, he's, Nate is revealed. And likewise, the other buildings are also revealed because neither player has a Nexus or a command center. And when that happens, you do get revealed. It stops you from just hiding one pylon in the corner and not being eliminated. Archon goes down. No, it does not. 26 shields. Barely survives the Yamato. BC is going to try and bait here. It's very dangerous. It's got teleport. Oh, he gets the assimilator, but he takes damage for it. I mean, the thing is, each time you take damage, that's irrecoverable, man. And uh, at this point, it does feel like, yeah, basically, Nate's still looking for the win condition. 
And and Doc, I think, is like, just keeps going back to zero APM. Yeah, back to zero APM here is like, every now and then he's just checking to make sure there's no bases that has landed, but you can see there's no bases because if we look at his vision, he's got that, you are being revealed, but he can also just look at the barracks and see, hey, I can see the barracks through Fog of War, therefore I know he doesn't have a base anywhere, right? Um, so, so I think at the moment, Duck is just running around and it needs to come to terms with the fact that his brain is broken and that he is actually in a situation where despite being double the supply most of this game, even more than that, um, just a bit too much F2A move, never leaving stalkers split off to, to deal with the BCs and <laughs> just not used to using two control groups. I think at the moment we have three control groups. We have Archon, Stalkers and Immortals, which is interesting, but, um, yeah, Nate's just chilling. Is Nate? Nate's just talking to his Twitch chat. This one was played on his stream, guys. So I reckon he's just talking to his Twitch chat. He's like, yeah, well, uh, this game's pretty dumb, but uh, I guess I'll see if I can kill some stuff with my BCs. Um, why Why not? Remember, if he just gets blinked on right now, he loses the BCs. Duck. But Duck waits for him to get back in the Oh, he gets another BC! He kills another BC! That's what I'm talking about. If Duck is just a little bit quicker on the teleport, he should easily be killing these BCs when they come in that deep. And remember, these gateways are way too deep. Even if you could pick off that gateway and this is simulated, there's no way you're ever going to kill these gateways because you need to get to about there to Yamato. The Stalkers will blink in and kill you. So it, the only way you win as Nate is if Duck makes terrible plays. But, but... Duck has fallen apart in this game, right? Duck has really suffered some, some psychological damage. Now, for Duck, you really just want to take the draw, right? So as Duck, all you should do, just chill, make sure you don't lose buildings. That's it. Just guard your buildings, leave the Archons here maybe, split across these two, Stalkers here, and just blink whenever he comes in range, right? Just just run forward and blink on the BCs. Um, at the moment, Nate, he's got to be worried about that draw timer, dude, because the longer this goes without him killing any more buildings, the longer it's going to be, or the closer for that draw timer. Now, can you guys refresh me on the rules in Twitch chat? What are the exact things that reset the draw timer? Does, does building a building count? Because Nate could actually build an add-on with this building, and that, I think, might reset the draw timer. Um, likewise, as Duck... You don't want to do that, right? Whereas as Nathanius, you want to reset the draw timer and you want Duck to also go AFK, he's 0 APM. 0 APM! He's not looking! Nate's done it! He, he's, he's, he's waited! He's waited till he's not looking, sneaks in, Yamato's the gateway and teleports away preemptively. He's like, he walked away from the computer to get a drink! Quick, now's our chance! He hasn't killed it yet, though, so that draw time is still getting closer, guys. He could teleport this BC out there and then try to Yamato it from the other side. The Raven's going to come in. It's got almost max energy. Uh, this is actually the dumbest base trade of all time. Like, Nathanius is literally relying on Duck falling asleep at the keyboard because you just can never kill these two gateways, right? And Duck, just split your units up. Leave the Archon split there and there. Leave your Stalkers here. Why are all your units back in a big club again? Why do you always F2 your units? Leave the Stalkers here. Guard the Assimilator, bro. <laughs> But the Archons are blocking right now, man. The Archons are just blocking. Oh, it's such a dumb game. The game's gonna end. Okay, so we got the draw timer, guys. The game will end in two minutes. Nate needs to finish off this gateway. Maybe this gateway here that's only got 500 hit points. So three Yamatos could kill this gateway, but it's kind of dangerous to get over there. Okay, he's got auto turret spam as well available. Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, Nate, Nate, Nate's coming in. He's got BCs on the top. They're gonna come in for the double Yamato. Will that kill that? Yeah, 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 that'll do enough damage to kill it. Okay, the Raven comes in. He clicks on the Assimilator. All four auto turrets, can they kill it? The Archons were not defending the structure. And he F2s! He F2s his army over here! Which means the BCs could go in and Yamato that as well. Oh my god, Duck predictably F2s. Literally, Nate can do anything in this game, and, and Duck is a, a charging bull. Oh my god, he is the gateway! Duck, keep your units split up! Oh my god! Why do you keep F2ing every time? <laughs> I feel like Nate can do anything and Duck just like is like just charges at the red cloth getting waved. We are watching Nathaniel show his best battle cruiser Masador impression right now. And he's just like, come on, silly stalkers and Archons, come and charge at the Raven with your whole army. Oh man. Okay, so I think Duck, are we going back to zero APM? Okay, so Duck's once again gone up to get a snack. Zero APM, Stalkers and Archons hugging is like, yeah, there's no way this can go down, right? Nathanius also zero APM. Both players average APMs dropping in this game. Let's go to Nathanius' camera. So this is Nathanius' camera, guys. He's just staring at the gateway, contemplating life and shit. Both players are not really doing anything. Oh, a bit of APM there for Duck. 
And uh, remember that reset the draw timer. So Duck is like, okay, fine. We'll just take the draw. Um, this is so stupid, dude. Okay, so so let me check in on what the rules are for... Um, oh, Nate's back. He's back at the keyboard, guys. He finished getting a drink and patting his dog. He finished. He finished. <laughs> Uh, 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 um, did anyone did anyone clarify the draw timer conditions? If you can repeat that in the chat, let me know. Ooh, not a good blink. Two stalkers do go down. Yeah, you gotta you gotta blink at the right moment there. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Let's go. We've got the Raven there. The battle cruiser there. There's nothing wrong with using F2, guys. It's just when the whole game, the answer to it has been to split your units up. You want to keep your units split up. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's given it. He's not trying to defend this gateway on the left side. That BC. Ooh, that actually. Okay, he's going to go join that. He wants to join all three battle cruisers together. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, oh my god. So the thing is, these gateways are too deep. That's a thousand hit points. Three Yamatos does three times 240 damage. I'm not good with numbers, guys, but I'm going to go out on the limb and say that's 720 damage. So you can triple your motto, it's not even going to kill a gateway. I mean, yes, the Raven can drop four auto turrets, but if your units are actually on top of it, it'll die instantly. Oh, oh, Duck could have blinked on that, but he moves the Archons. Those aren't the right... No, 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 you could have blinked on that and killed it, mate. You could have blinked on it and killed it. The Raven's... Oh, the Raven's going to try and auto turret this gateway. He sees the whole army's there. Once again, Duck not defending his buildings. And Nate's just going to go for, I think, a double... He might wait for three auto turrets. Wait for 150 energy. Oh, no, he's going to go for the double, see if he can get the snipe. They're very high damage units. The whole army will have 2A move there now. But wait, no, Duck's AFK. Zero APM. Oh, he got up to have a snack again. Oh, no, guys. Never snack when you should be focusing on forcing the draw condition. That resets the draw timer. And another three Yamatos land. Three more stalkers go down. <laughs> He seems on about 20 stalkers when this started. He's down to 10. The draw timer resets every time a building dies, guys. <laughs> and Nate's like, I got another few minutes to get it done, buddy. <laughs> Nate right now is, I mean, I believe there's a term that, that the kids use these days called edging. I think Nathanius is edging this Protoss player right now. I feel like he's... He doesn't have another choice. It's his only option. It's the right way to play for the win. But uh, yeah, I mean, Duck is just playing for the draw. Keeps trying to go AFK every now and then looks at the units. But uh, <laughs> Nate is like, I'm going to edge this one out. Yeah, you'll see. Mm. <laughs> he did just use Yamato on Stalkers though. So there's a long cooldown. He's just waiting, waiting, waiting for the energy. The, uh, the Yamato to come off cooldown. Uh, Archons and Stalkers just just seeing what they could do. This is such a stupid game. I love it. I love it. Um, it's it's really funny because when when one player is just like just just can we just have the draw and the other guy's like no 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 I can win this with the energy. The thing is he can't unless the Protoss loses focus and attention. But I keep bringing your guys eyes to that zero APM. The Protoss player, Duck has to stay focused. Otherwise, he might duck it up. Auto turrets. Okay, that's a weird choice. I think Nate getting a bit over eager there. He's going to click on the gateway. Ooh, I don't think that's going to work, man. Yeah, I think we're, we're, I think Nate's realizing the problem of how deep these gateways are. To get in Yamato range, he gets blinked on. These stalkers could blink on him even as he comes just a little bit further forward and they will kill these BCs so fast. Two of them are at 123 hit points, 130 hit points, and the third one, 426. None of them at full time. This is actually crazy, dude. The Immortal and the Zealot are still hanging out in this GG marker. He's wishing Nathanius would say GG, but he won't. Nate, at this point, realizing the game's going to end in 2 minutes and 10 seconds, he's going to do the add-on that I talked about. Now, this does nothing unless the Protoss takes the bait and kills the add-on. Obviously, Nate has no supply and can't build anything out of this barracks. He's relying on the hemorrhage and brain trauma. Oh, what the hell? Where's the blink? Where's the blink, Duck? He didn't even teleport away. He gets a triple Yamato off and just walks away, Duck. Uh, he must have been. He, he reacted. He just didn't blink there. I don't know why. He could have killed two of the BCs. <laughs> Nate right now is like, wait, wait, wait. How'd the draw timer get reset? Wait, do auto turrets reset the draw timer? Or is it oh, building a building reset the draw timer? Even building a building resets the draw timer? 
Oh, you cheeky bugger. I didn't realize that building a building would reset it. By finishing a tech lab, it reset the draw timer. So his barracks, he's got 2,000 minerals and 1,000 minerals. He can just keep floating out and building tech labs. And each time he does it, it resets the draw timer. Oh no, Nathanius has just found the dirtiest loophole to make this game never end. He has literally just hacked the draw timer because as, as long as he keeps building new tech labs, he can just keep resetting it. I thought he would have to put that out as bait and the Protoss player would have to kill it, but building a building does reset the draw timer because the game goes, oh yeah, things are still happening. The Nadie's trying to get rid of the last hit points on this gateway. Guys, only 22 shields, 34 hit points left. Dark needs to blink for That's a free kill. That's a free kill. That's a free kill. Oh, but Nate gets out of there. Duck a little too slow. He only gets one volley off and he loses two more stalkers. Nate gets rid of the gateway. There's only one gateway left. Um, 91 stalkers have died this game. There's only eight stalkers left. The BCs, that was the healthy one, is down to 194 hit points. This is 130 hit points. This is 123 hit points. This is peak StarCraft right here, guys. I mean, honestly, if Hero Marine and Trap ever played a series this good, I mean, we might actually see the world champions and the top players live up to their namesakes, you know? If they could only be as smart as these you guys in this... This game is so stupid. <laughs> their APM still hasn't dropped that far. I think Duck is realizing, God damn it, you keep denying my bloody draw timer, mate. Give me my stupid draw! Nathanius, the salty battlecruiser lord of the deeps, he comes out of this lava and he says, no dickhead, <laughs> no draw for you, mate. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. If you could use one word to describe Duck's mental state right now, let me know what it is in the comment section, everybody. I am going to go with... Um, I don't even know if it's enraged at this point. Some people are saying like Sag hungry pistol i think it's like i i feel like what is it when you when you first when you're a kid you have hopes and dreams what how, how do you feel when those are when those are dashed right when you feel like all the goodness is, has been sucked out of the world i feel like duck is feeling that right now <laughs> apathetic maybe they're frustrated diffused let down, disillusioned. I like this, disillusioned. I think disillusioned is the word we're looking for. Uh, shout out to follow Jushin. <laughs> I think disillusioned is a very, very good way of uh, putting ducks and ducks. Like, can I just get the drawer? It's the draw time is built in to avoid this situation. Let me move on to the next game. And Nate's like, well, you could take the 30 MMR loss, bro. The double auditor, he's going to go for the gateway again. He does target fire that gateway, but the Archons on the Stalkers, look at that. He only does 100 hit points of damage, man. It's going to be hard to get that gateway down. Now, remember, three Yamatos, 730 damage. Right now, the gateway is on 900 hit points and regenerating shields rapidly. He's looking for a Yamato. Is Nate, he wants to bait him out of position. He's going to, he's trying to bait him. Look at that. He's, he's just trying to move in vision. That battle cruiser is twerking. You guys see the battle cruiser just shake its booty at those archons. He's like, "Come over here." He's trying it. He's trying to do it, man. Okay, gonna come over and kill the tech lab. But wait, wait, does that reset the draw timer as well? That that re you just reset the draw timer, duck. You were a minute thirty left until the draw timer. Oh my god, you just reset it by killing that tech lab. No, no. You were a minute 30 from the draw time. All you needed to do was get over here and stop this one building. Killing it resets it. No. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that resets it again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, I guess he probably would have got this tech lab up anyway, but you're not helping yourself here, Doc. You're not helping yourself here, man. <laughs> okay, he's going to split the units. If he's right on top of it, a tech, another tech lab can't start. I think Doc's actually figured out if I'm on top of this, I can just focus the tech labs immediately. And it's actually, it's actually, yeah, you can't do that trick. Maybe Nate can go there and build a tech lab, but Doc can see it. Remember, the buildings are, are, are revealed. So he can at any point just block that with the Zealot and the Immortal. Nate's going to have to kill this in the next four or five minutes of this game, max. And oh, he's going to go Yamatos on that, on the, on the Archon. Okay, so we triple Yamatos and Archon. 
He's trying to get Duck to move out of position, to panic, to freak out a little bit, right? But right now, he needs to wait for the... I think he needs to go all four auto turrets, focus this, and then just go for the Yamato dive and do all at once. But I don't even know if that's going to work because, like I said, if the Stalkers blink forward, especially if they kill the Raven, it's, it's, it's like four Stalker shots from death. If it dies, that's huge. And look at this. He's going to try and build another tech lab. <laughs> you can't land here! You don't go to this school! Oh, I, I miss the days when I could just build a tech lab and reset the draw timer. But look at that, the immortal, if you just focus the tech lab, it doesn't get built. Yeah! Duck has figured it out! Duck has figured it out! Says, hey, dickhead, go back to floating in your lava! That's right, my name's Mr. Immortal! We're having a draw! You're not gonna win this game, idiot! Nathaniel's still banking energy in the corner of the map, refreshing his Yamato and his teleport cooldown, both ready in about 15 seconds. The Raven here with 100 energy. The gateway is there. It's it's on full hit points right now. Oh my lord. This uh, this is the greatest, stupidest base trade of all time. We have 41 kills, 33 kills, and 16 kills. I I absolutely love it, man. This is This is my kind of StarCraft, you know. The draw timer is not restarted yet, but it will in the near future, guys. It will in the near future. Oh, man. Obviously, if he could have set the barracks on fire, that would burn down, but he's got to get it below 333 hit points to do that. Another tech lab trying to go down. Nate's getting desperate, man. He's trying to bait these units in so he can Yamato them, but I'm telling you, there's so many opportunities. If Duck was actually just paying attention the whole time and just waiting and just sitting here, he could just blink, but it's a, it's a battle of patience. And he doesn't seem to have the patience. Wait, where'd the immortal go? He's letting him rebuild it. What are you doing, Duck? What are you doing? What are you? Are you serious? He's letting him do it again. Oh my God. You absolute nincompoop. What is the immortal doing here? What is the immortal doing here? Duck. Oh my God. I feel he's just gone AFK to get a snack again. Duck is like, nah, it's fine. The draw's locked in. I'll just walk the immortal over here and go, stop eating snacks, Duck. <laughs> oh my God, Duck. Comes back, controls the units. Kill, kill, aw, uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> And Nate buys himself another three or four minutes. I have never seen a player mess up a base trade this repeatedly this badly i'm sorry duck we've I, I i i'm joking i've done it this bad i have done it this bad maybe not this bad pretty bad i've done it pretty bad before i don't want to hate on you bud but oh my god this is so silly dude and um oh man i really you know what chat's pointing out what if he does the tech lab in vision and then we've seen that duck's reaction is f2a move usually right so if he f2a moves the army away Maybe Nate can do it. Full energy! He's going for it! Four auto turrets! He gets three of them down! The Oh! Oh! He clicks the gateways! He clicks the gateways! He clicks the gateways! The stalkers have still not blinked forward! The stalkers still aren't reacting! Duck! What are you doing? What are you doing? He just came! He didn't even move forward! He tried to run away from the raven because he didn't want to get his army yabattered! What?! And Nate just spams the auto turrets, targets the gateway, and you monitors it down. Oh my god. And he's watching. He's here. The Protoss player is here. He's microing his stalkers away because he doesn't want to lose them to the auto turrets. But he's going through the gateway. you got to blink forward. Blink forward. Why are you running away? What do you know? <laughs> this is so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> this game. I just lost brain cells and gained IQ at the same time. Oh my god, that was legendary. Shout out to Duck and Nathaniel for playing this game. That may have been the dumbest base trade of all time. Let me know your thoughts in the chat, guys. If you enjoy games like this, please check out the Patreon in the link below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you want to support the channel, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.